Hey, it's Ghost with Combat Sports Supply. Today we're going over the GTP9 pistol by G&G and its conversion, the SMC9. The GTP9 itself has a bunch of neat features. It's not based on any traditional firearm. It just takes a bunch of inspiration from many different firearms, like your Glock trigger safety, your HK mag release, which is the switch on the bottom. It even took some inspiration from the 2011s, but it swept the slide release back even farther so that when you use it, you don't have to rotate the gun to reach it. You're not out here. You can do it just with a standard hold. You can still reach that and let the slide go. Like many other g, &G products, the GTP9 is a nylon reinforced polymer frame, both upper and lower but it does have the metal barrel. Underneath this orange chip, the barrel is threaded. The GTP9 also has a fairly interesting sight profile. I'm not entirely sure what this would be called in the real gun world. I just call it a notched wing because of the overhangs on each side and the sight picture all the way down across the top of the gun. Now the GTP9 does come with multiple back straps. If you don't know what that is, it's the rear body of the grip and it's determined by your grip size. It does come with one larger and one smaller one. But inside of that is this little push button and that, if you click it and pull it out, gives you access to your hop-up adjust tool. The great thing about having this tool, unlike most pistols where you have to take the entire upper off of the pistol to access your hop-up and adjust it, or try and weasel around inside this little opening, this just fits in the end of the barrel until it clicks in place and it's a rotational hop. Now, unlike most hops, you're gonna have to rotate this a lot farther than you would normally. Because this makes it a lot faster and a lot easier to change your hop up on the fly when you need to. Now, you remember I said that it had two back straps. If you happen to lose one of these tools, the second back strap will have a second one in it. One other neat feature with the GTP9, the magazine, instead of having your plastic feed lip on the top, is actually metal. As far as teardown and or cleaning of this pistol, if any of you have been wondering what this little notch is, just like the rest of the pistol, it's fully ambidextrous. And you can do it one-handed. When I say you can do it with one hand, what I mean is, if you look at that, you can see it pulls both sides, even though I'm pulling from the far side because it's a single piece. GTP9 also has a steel guide rod with its recoil spring with a cushioned pad so it's less likely to beat itself up. And the nozzle's neat because inside of the nozzle, there's a little white piece in there that is made out of ceramic and it actually has essentially an impeller blade on it that causes it to spin and break up any ice buildup as you're using it. So like we showed you in the AAP-01 video, this is your standard pistol setup. You're only gonna need to oil a little bit down either side of the nozzle so it drains to the back of this. And then you're going to use your thumb in the gas port to pull the nozzle forward and you wanna make sure to oil this o-ring so that it is always moist you don't want it to be dry so here in a second we're going to go over some of the cool attachments and stuff you can get for your gtp9 but first so if you purchase your gtp9 it's going to come in a very nice hard case with your extra back strap a speed loader with a pistol adapter on it and your magazine so the first major thing you can add to this is an extended 50 round magazine so one of the coolest things about this gun is is when disassembled, this lower can be mounted into the SMC9 upper. So the SMC9 upper is a Roni conversion kit for the GTP9. So you have your fire selector on this. You can see it right there popping out. Now it's on full auto instead of semi-auto like the pistol would be. You also have these wings for your ejection ports. Now you'll notice this little nub on here. I'm gonna flip it over and you'll notice that there's two screw holes on here because you can swap that little nub out for left-handed people so that the gun is still truly ambidextrous. So the SMC9 comes with a fairly nice set of iron sights, which are the rear sights left, right adjustable. And if we go up to the front, the flip up front is up down adjustable. Continuing that fully ambidextrous theme, your charging handle is fully ambidextrous as well. And just to prove that whole thing about you can swap these sides, if I rack it, it only pops out the side that has that nub in it. The SMC9 also has a folding stock, as you can see by this button. But when folded, it attaches to this plate by a pair of neodymium magnets instead of a latch. So the SMC9 does have M-lock mounting points on it, and this is metal, along with the upper receiver. Now all the attachments on the upper are a nylon reinforced plastic, but the actual unit is metal. The GTP9 can mount the lower of it into this Roni kit, to do so, you're gonna push this button down and it slides back. It'll pop open this latch and then your lower 
you'll find the notch at the notch point and it slides all the way forward until it clicks you're gonna push this down pull it back again and lock it in place you have your SMC 9 put up and ready to go is 50 rounds enough that's always a question because now it's an SMG well if you don't think so we do have 300 round drum mags for it So this 300 round drum mag is a manual wine. So switching to the back of the magazine, you've got your fill valve for your gas. And then to put BBs in it, you'll see these two tabs. They press in and at the top, you'll see a lock and an unlock etched into it. You're just gonna rotate it to the side and this pops open. Once you have it open, unlike a lot of high cap and drum mags, you'll notice there's foam padding in here to keep the rattling to a minimum. So the GTP-9 is, in my opinion, one of the best pistols on the market. It has the fewest icing issues I've ever run into and it will lo run longer and more efficiently than most of the other pistols I've ever used. And you can get this really sweet conversion kit to turn it into an SMG or PDW. All three of the mags we've shown today will work on both versions of it. Tell me a fool.